In the mid 1900s, there was a show known as Mr. Ed about a talking horse. Well, after that show was canceled, um, Mr. Ed went into seclusion and mysteriously vanished. Well, we're here at a dude ranch in uh, Georgia, in the last place that uh, Mr. Ed was supposedly seen. So, uh, this is what we're going to be doing today. Yep. I am Brian. I am Juliana. And, and this, this is our Thought for, for the, the Day. day. This dog knows something. This is a long distance cousin of Mr. Ed's dog. Believe it or not, Mr. Ed actually owned a dog. Um, it's strange that a pet would own a pet, but um, as sadistic as it sounds, Mr. Ed was involved in some deep, dark, deep, dark secrets. Uh, potentially, the, 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 the cousin of this dog got into an argument with Mr. Ed. And uh, because of some something to do with legalities, uh, contracts, because the other actor was apparently, the other dog was an actor in feature films as well, and there was some issues with drugs, some scary stuff. And some people say that one person or people stuffed Mr. Ed in one of these three barrels of hay you see right here. Right, and then these bales of hay were proceeded to be brought out to the other horses, and the horses ate Mr. Red, potentially alive. Thank Can goodness you said horses. Think cannibalism could be, but I'm not sure if cannibalism refers to horse to horse, or if cannibalism is just human to human. Could it be horsealism? Maybe I've discovered a new word, but anyway. We asked a lot of people, even the toilet company, and they told us nothing. But we did find out that Mr. Red went to the bathroom in one of these toilets in a box. We've uh, brought in one of our people that work at the ranch here and uh, we're going to ask her a few questions. Um, we're kind of putting her on the spot here. So Heather, what can you tell us about the uh, rumor that this was Mr. Ed's last, yeah, last so round right here? So or exciting. last scene right here. What can you tell us about Wait, that? Wait, this is about Mr. Ed? Yes, yes it is. I, I can't, I can't talk about Mr. Ed. So you know something about Mr. Ed? Well yeah, we all know about Mr. Ed. Well you we know something. Talk about You're, you know Mr. something. Ed. No, I can't. Look, you said that I came out here to win the Publishers Clearinghouse, and you just don't understand what they will do to me if I talk about Mr. Ed. I can't talk about Mr. Ed, okay? So if if you've got nothing for me, I I, I can't talk about this. You're forget it. Wow. That was unexpected. Touchy. I won't use that anymore. Come on, let's look elsewhere. No, nope. nobody told us anything. So we're gonna do the next best thing talking to real live animals. So, so uh, gentlemen, gentlemen, out here, do you, do you know of anything about uh, Mr. Ed? Anything? You, you sir, you, do you know anything? <laughs> what do you know about Mr. Ed? Tell me. Stop panting and tell me. You slobbery dog, tell me. Woo, your breast smells horrible. All right. We've had a little trouble getting information from the horses, but uh, we found this kid and he's got some great stuff. And what's that? I heard that if you kiss the horse, it'll give you all the information you need. Awesome, let's go. Come on. These people are crazy. They'll believe anything. I don't think I'd ever do this. No human should ever see this. Come on. How about you? You going to give me a kiss? Dog no, it's a horse. I'm kissing it. Oh, it's hey, come here. I got a question. Come here. I got a question. Come here. Want to give me a kiss? Want to give me a kiss? Tell me where Mr. Red is. I know it. I've seen those beady eyes before. Tell me. I used to have Tell a cat just Mr. like Red you. Is. Oh, don't make us bring out the waterboard. Oh, you're doomed, dude. Ducks. Ducks. Tell me information. Tell me information about Ed. You're scared now. I can tell by the way you're closing your eyes, you fuzzball. You know. You know. Come on, tell oh, us. Oh, beady eyed freak. You, you look vaguely suspicious with your head down. Oh, you don't want to talk, do you? Oh, I know you. Come back here, ducks. Waddle, your butt. Back here. Boy, those ducks are jerks. The horrible injustice of this is that Mr. Red's, um, Death will, I guess, continue to be a mystery until we uncover something. It's a sad, sad thing, but until these horses back here um, confess to what they know, which I don't think will happen anytime soon, um, it'll just remain a travesty. 
Um, and even even young horses that are, are kept silent, like this horse over here. Um, I, I don't really know. They they have no hope because well, um, just because the older horses are silencing them, it, it's a crying shame. But one that will continue until we find what really happened to Mr. It. Okay, well, we've been at the ranch all day and we've discovered Zip. So the mystery of Mr. Ed will still remain unsolved. But I did have fun waterboarding the feline. There's nothing more fun than torturing a, a harmless cat. It's awesome. And, and we found toilet parts. Yeah, that too. And, uh, well, I'm Brian. I'm Juliana, and this is the guy who tells us to kiss horses. And, um, and as Lammy says yes. back there, well, that's not Lammy, that's a horse, but as Lammy says... It looks says, like a Lammy horse. Kind of, but as Lammy says back there, every stinking day... Rock on!